if we go back to our friends of Maasai, <clears throat> they were part of the only study that I know of that actually compared what we're talking about, which is a whole food meat-based diet and a whole food plant-based diet. And that was in 1931, really haven't done anything since then. And that was in, it's published in the Journal of the American Medical Association. And there's a British study, and they looked at the Maasai, and they had a very good example there, because the Maasai are largely eating meat, blood, dairy, and not much else. But their neighbors, the Akikuyu, were almost the polar opposite. They ate a lot of plants. They ate a lot of tubers and leaves and seeds and nuts and all these sorts of things. So they were largely plant-based, alive at the same time in the same area. And this is late 1920s, 1930. So this wasn't the, the era of industrial agriculture and crop farming and pesticides and insecticides and fertilizers, all these sorts of things. It's a vegan's dream. They're out on a commune in the middle of Africa, just, eat, just living off the land, right? And, and it was also very interesting because they were genetically similar or near identical because they actually intermarried. And so they would go back and forth. So genetically, they were a very similar population. They ate very different diets. They're, everything else was about the same. So it was a very good, somewhat self-controlled trial. And they looked at them, they looked at their health, they looked at their development, and they found that the Maasai were on average five inches taller, brains were larger, they were 50% stronger, and they were on average 23 pounds heavier of lean body mass. There is no fat on these guys. It's only lean body mass. They had full, well-developed jaws, no tooth decay, big, bright white teeth. They don't have dentists. They don't have teeth whiteners or anything like that. They're eating what they're supposed to eat, and their mouth is working the way it's supposed to work. The opposite was true of the Akikuyu. They were shorter. They were weaker. They were more sickly. They had crooked teeth, decaying teeth. They had vitamin deficiencies, nutrient deficiencies, they were anemic, they were getting infections, they were getting diabetes, they were getting all these problems that the Maasai simply were not. And the British tried to supplement them and say, okay, well, we'll, we'll take care of your, your supplements. This is what the, the dietitians say. Okay, this is a deficient diet, but if you supplement, then you'll be fine. Well, it wasn't fine. They didn't actually improve their health. It wasn't until they replaced the plants with meat that they actually improved their health outcomes. So that's the only study that I'm aware of that actually compares what we're talking about. A meat-based diet, a whole food meat-based diet, and a whole food plant-based diet. The other studies are looking at comparing processed food garbage diet with more plants, right? Because you're comparing it to the norm. That's what they're looking at. You eat more plants and you do better than the average person. The average person is sick. The average person is unhealthy. 93% of Americans uh, have at least one metabolic disease. 70% are overweight or obese. So you don't want to compare yourself to the norm. That's not a good bar to, uh, to put yourself against. 